It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turned into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Hello friends, my name is Tammy and welcome to my channel Today I'm going to be organizing my fridge, decluttering it, cleaning it I'm going to get above it, below it, behind it, inside of it and I am going to organize it with these bins. Now, I got these from HomeSense a couple of months ago, and I definitely had a plan in mind when I bought them. What that plan was, I'm not actually sure because it was so long ago that I kind of forget exactly what it was. So I'm just gonna wing it with what I have here. But I have a few of these containers. I got this container and then I also have some larger containers and I got some of these turntables as well and so hopefully I can figure out what my plan was because what I like to do is plan way in advance. Now you might think that's because I'm the type of person who's just super prepared but what it means is that I actually just procrastinate. I often have big dreams and plans. It just takes me a little while to sometimes get around to them because I often think that I have more time than I do or that things will take me less time. So I always, you know, I plan stuff out and then whatever. I am getting to it today and that is the point. So if you think that I'm a super organized person all the time, I'm really not, but I'm always working on it and I get things done eventually. Okay, so let's just take a little tour of the fridge right now. So you can see that it is not particularly clean, but we are gonna get this in shape and I cannot wait to show you what the after is gonna be like, but I also wanna show you the entire process as to how I got there. So I'm gonna start by taking off all of the stickers and the packaging from these containers from HomeSense. Now some of the stickers did leave a slight residue so I used Goo Gone to get that off. It doesn't smell the greatest but it does do the job and get all of the stickiness and residue off of the containers and I'm going to wash all of these thoroughly afterwards anyways so the smell was completely gone. Be scared of letting someone get close without the filters. But you see the real me. Since I let you in under my skin, I'm more free than I have ever been. You broke my chains and released me. So now I'm going to go ahead and give everything a thorough wash and dry and I'm really excited about these containers because I've been looking for ones like this for a while and I was excited to find them in HomeSense for such a good deal. I did compare them to similar ones on Amazon but HomeSense definitely had the better price. HomeSense is also known as Home Goods in case you are wondering. Uh, the A containers however I couldn't find them in the store so I did actually get those off of Amazon. So I can link those below for you and if you happen to be shopping in Home Goods or Home Sense, definitely check out their kitchen organizational area because you might find some great fridge organizational items.
now that the new containers are all ready to go, I am going to empty out this fridge and everything is going, everything is being taken out. I'm not going to leave anything in here because I just want to have a clean slate to work with. So as I'm taking everything out, I am checking expiration dates on the bottles because those can really sneak up on you. So make sure to check those when you're decluttering because there's really no point in storing inedible food in your refrigerator. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Next, I'm going to disassemble my fridge as much as I possibly can. Of course, everybody's fridges are different, but definitely get into your fridge and see how much that you can take apart because the more that you can take out, the deeper clean that you're going to be able to give your fridge. So that large tray that I just took out, the glass actually comes off of the top of that. So I'm able to clean right in the grooves. And if you're seeing right at the bottom as well where I took out the tray I realized there was some other plastic pieces that I was able to take right out and then I could clean behind there and give everything a thorough clean in my bed after 12 wish I could sleep dream about all the ways you could reach me but now you keep missing out on me that's for sure I decided to clean my entire fridge all at once and if you are going to use the same method as me then you got to realize that once you start you are committed because I have all of my fridge food out on the counter and if I take too long at this then things are going to start spoiling this is the type of food that you want to keep cold so you don't want it to be sitting on your counter you know for a really long time so once you start on this you are committed and in a way I kind of like this because it forces me to get it done. However, if you suspect that you might not have enough time to complete your entire fridge all at once because honestly this does take a very long time to clean everything out and clean everything very thoroughly, then my suggestion would be to have a different strategy and maybe just pick one or two shelves, clean and declutter those thoroughly and then move on to the next shelf and then if you do run out of time before you can complete your entire fridge it's no big deal all of the food is still in the fridge and it's not going bad so a few moments ago when I was cleaning that very large glass tray, I could not help but think of the time when we were renting a house. This was before we moved into our farmhouse. We were renting while it was being built. And as I was getting ready to move out of that rental home, I was cleaning everything up because I wanted to get my damage deposit back. And so I was cleaning out the fridge and I took that large glass tray out of the fridge just like the one. I was holding and I brought it over to the sink to clean it and as I placed it in the sink it shattered it shattered into like a million pieces and I just stood there and I was like what do I do anyways I got everything cleaned up and thankfully I was actually able to take the plastic piece that went around it I took that into a glass place and they were able to replace it for me it was about $20 or so it wasn't too expensive so I did end up getting all of my damage deposit back but I just wanted to say that if you are cleaning out your fridge just be careful with the large glass pieces because they are very fragile I wouldn't know what to do Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know You got me wrapped around your finger Tell me what you wanna do I think we're part of something bigger And now my mind is filled with you Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Baby, with a So now it is time to put all of the pieces back into place, kind of like a giant puzzle. I'm 
which is pretty usual for me, but I need to make supper now. So what I did is I just shoved everything back into my very clean, but still unorganized fridge. So I'm gonna make some lasagna right now. I'm gonna eat dinner and then after dinner, I am going to take everything out again so that I can organize it properly. Now this is a really easy lasagna recipe. I honestly used to think that lasagna was so complicated and I used to buy the lasagnas that were just ready made at the store. But once I started making my own, I realized that it really wasn't that difficult to put together. And so I just wanna share this with you guys because it is so delicious and it's so much better tasting. So I take some zucchini and put it in with some ground beef and some tomato sauce just like the store brand stuff and then I take some ricotta cheese and mix it in with one egg and then what I do is I just layer it up so I put a layer of the spaghetti sauce and then the noodles I should also mention that the noodles I use are the no boil noodles so they are ready to go right into the lasagna so then for the next layer I'll do the cheese mixture topped with a little bit of parmesan cheese and and mozzarella cheese and I'll just keep repeating those layers all the way to the top and then I'll top it off with a whole bunch of mozzarella cheese then I loosely cover it with tin foil for 45 minutes in the oven at 375 degrees take off the tin foil and bake it for another 15 minutes then take it out and just let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes and it is ready to go so the lasagna is in the oven and I got everything back out of the fridge. Now comes the fun part where I get to organize everything. Now I am sure that I'm going to be kind of learning as I go. I might put something somewhere and then just put it somewhere else because it doesn't work. So you can see my process and how I organize things and hopefully it gives you some ideas for your own fridge. So I decided to bring down the shelves on the one side just to give them a little bit more room so I could add the clear containers and so that there would be room to put taller items in them. And then I took this turntable and it has some grips on the bottom which is great so it's not sliding around the fridge and once I placed it in it stuck really well but you could still twist it around. Now I have my egg cartons and these egg cartons actually hold 14 eggs so you got a little bit extra in them and I just pulled them all to the front so that they would look pretty. I do have two of these egg containers for when I buy more eggs. Now I'm going to organize all of my refrigerator items in these clear containers and I'm going to play around with it, see what heights work, see what looks best and just kind of figure it out as I go. The way you look, the way you This turntable is my absolute favorite new thing. No more am I going to be digging in the back of my fridge trying to find items that I can't see and just, you know, looking through everything. Now I can just turn it around and I can access all of the big items very easily. 
So on the side of my fridge here, I decided to lose the top container on the one side altogether because I had some taller items that just were not fitting. So I decided just to take it out. I'll put that in storage and that way I can store a lot of the taller items on the one side. Now when it came to my fruit and vegetable drawers, I actually took everything out of the packaging because it just looks so much prettier. And because I had just washed everything out, I knew that it was nice nice and clean and so although I've never actually done this before with carrots I decided just to leave the carrots out and honestly it looks so much prettier this way now on to my deli drawer I only had a few items to place in here and my fridge was complete also the lasagna was done at this point and I wanted to show you what it looked like and it was so good now I'm gonna move on to my freezer and you might be thinking wait a second I wanted to see what the fridge looked like when it was completely done and don't worry that is coming up but you have to wait until the end because we want to clean the rest of this fridge and I am just on a roll right now I got supper done and I am just going to move on to my freezer now I have a pull-out freezer and the top shelf has an ice maker in it however the ice often falls into the bottom basket and I just never clean it out so this is just old nasty ice that has been sitting on the bottom of my freezer and it really needs to be cleaned out so I'm just gonna shovel all of this out and just dump it in my sink and wait for it to melt because this is not good ice at all so I had both sides of my freezer to do and as you can see how much ice is here this is just how long it's been it's been forever since I have cleaned out this freezer and it was long overdue. I'm too blind to see in a different view. It's getting to me. Yeah. Don't know how. bottom of my freezer is not the easiest to access but if I take out the bottom basket it is actually doable as long as I can kind of get in there and you know you got to be a little agile to get in here but it is possible and it does need to be cleaned out every once in a while. And while I had the freezer open, I figured I better clean this little vent at the bottom of my fridge that somehow gets all this really grimy dust on it. And it was really honestly hard to get in there with the paper towel. So what I did is I took a little stick and I put the wet paper towel right in there and I was able to get it really thoroughly clean. Like when it's going good, it's not meant to be. cleaning this fridge so it is getting pulled out and I am going to wipe on top of it as well as behind it and get all of the grime out because I do find like at the bottom of the fridge you can see the dirt from the front and I'll often take a vacuum there and it just doesn't quite get it and it's so annoying because I can see that it's dirty underneath but I can't quite access it unless I pull the fridge all the way out and wipe behind it and underneath it. So here is what it looks like. It is so gross. I, I always think that it's so disgusting under here. Anyhow, it's really even not 
that big of a deal to pull it out but I always act like it's like a super big deal like it's something I can only do like once or twice a year you know just to pull the fridge out but it's really not that hard to do I mean I just pull it out and then I push it back in anyways it's getting done today because I am on a mission to have a thoroughly super cleaned fridge today and I hope this is motivating you as well and just making you realize that maybe it's not that big of a deal to pull your fridge out every once in a while even if you're like me it seems like a really big deal in your mind I'm going crazy like what's the deal because I want you to show me what you feel you're watching me like you want me but you're still holding Okay, so now that I very gracefully put that fridge back into place, I am going to clean the front of my fridge. Now this is something that I do quite often, especially the handles because they always get grimy with food and honestly I am probably one of the biggest culprits of that because I'll be cooking or something and I'll get food on my hands and then I have to grab something from the fridge and it just gets sticky and it gets gross and plus my kids do that all the time, especially if they're making peanut butter and jam sandwiches. That is is always like one of the things that I find on the fridge is stuck on jam super gross anyways it's getting off now and it's gonna get nice and cleaned now what I also like to do is wipe it down with a wet cloth and some spray and then take dry paper towel afterwards and then that keeps it from looking streaky at all and there's never any water spots so that is the fridge completely cleaned and now I am going to show you guys what it looks like on the inside enjoy you think that this is an impractical setup I just want to show you how I can rearrange these containers to free up some space so that I have room to put something like leftovers or other food items in fact I actually had some leftovers from supper and so I'm putting this container of lasagna in here and I can fit it in very easily so thank you guys so much for tuning in today I really appreciate it Make Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new and next week I have a whole new makeover coming out it's going to be a pantry makeover and I'm very excited to show you guys so see you next time and take care